Man, we got smashed yesterday on the jam session, man. Absolutely took behind the shed. Worst day of the year, man. No intro, no hypeness, none of that, man. We got a four-game card today. We desperately need to bounce back, man. We're going to try to do just that. So without further ado, man, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Miami Heat out on the road facing the Charlotte Hornets. Miami laying six, total 222. It's an interesting one, man. We got two of the worst cover teams in all of the NBA. Miami is third worst this season at 19, 28, and 3. And Charlotte is fifth worst at 21, 27, and 2. Charlotte, though, is the worst home cover team in all of the NBA with a home record against a spread of 7 and 15. Um, they have looked better here recently, though, as they've won three of their last five. Um, they just hammered the Bulls in their last one. Of course, I was on the Bulls in that one. They beat them 111-96. I thought Chicago, man, that was a good spot for them to get back right against, like I said, the worst home cover team in the NBA. Charlotte came out hooping in that one. LaMelo had a really nice game. And uh, like I said, they won three of their last five. They beat Atlanta pretty by four. They beat Houston by five. But uh, they also got hammered in this stretch by uh, Phoenix and Utah. So it's it's tough, man. Uh, and Miami, I know I really don't like laying points with this Miami team. I just don't. Um, they have been playing better basketball on the road. At home, they're terrible as well. But on the road, against the spread, they're mediocre. And this one, man, I really don't trust either of these two teams against the spread, if I'm going to be honest, man. I'm going to give you all a rare total. I do lean under in this game. I think um, Miami, the key to six, their success and their winning of their four of the last five has been their defense has kind of stepped it up. They're starting to play that Miami defense from last year. And um, Miami has always been a defensive team, man, and that's their bread and butter. They don't, They can't score with some of the top echelon teams in the NBA. They just can't. But they can sure defend, and when when you when they're making it tough on you, that's where Miami's at their best, and that's kind of what we've seen from there here recently. I know we've seen the two matchups between these two teams earlier in the season be high scoring, 132-115 on the 12th of November and 117-112 on the 10th of November. But I think Miami is is a different team now than they were then, playing better defense here recently. I think this one falls underneath the total, quite honestly. I could see Charlotte. Some of their shots that have been falling here recently not fall, especially against a really good defensive team like Miami. And, um, yeah, I'm going to lean under here in this one. I, in a small, small, small lean, I do kind of lean Miami laying the six. It's bottom of the barrel nine times out of ten. I'm not betting it, but I know a lot of y'all love sides. So I do kind of lean Miami laying the six as well. But my top play in this one, I think, is the under. I think Miami continues to play good defense. Charlotte probably misses some shots that they've been hitting over their last few games in this one. Here falls underneath the total. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Indiana Pacers out on the road facing the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies home favorites in this one laying nine and a half, total two thirty nine and a half. And I'm taking the Grizzlies laying the nine and a half in this one. And I would probably think about laying an extended line as well. Um, I think the Grizzlies going to kick the crap out of this Pacers team tonight. This is how I see it. I know the Grizzlies have been struggling here recently as they have lost five straight games. All of those were out on the road, though, and Memphis has struggled on the road all season. At home, though, they're a juggernaut. 14-8-1 against the spread on their home floor this season are the Memphis Grizzlies. Perfect bounce back and get right opportunity for this team here tonight against a weak Indiana Pacers team. I'm all over the Grizzlies in this one, and like I said, I would probably think about laying extended. Uh, Pacers really been struggling here recently. They've lost four of their last five. Um, it's really worse than that, man. The moment Tyrese Halliburton went down is the moment this Pacers team went down. We've already seen this Grizzlies team also hammer this Indiana Pacers team once this season, and it was pretty recent. It was on the 14th of January uh, in Indiana as well. We know Grizzlies don't play good basketball on the road, but they did go into Indiana and win that one 130-112. I wouldn't be surprised if the score in this one was exactly the same as that one. This time it's in Memphis where they play their best basketball. I'm taking the Grizzlies in this one. I know they've lost five straight. I know that. But all that was done out on the road, man. They're a juggernaut on their home floor. They run through teams there. And if there's a team that I expect to bounce back on their home floor on a Saturday night or a Sunday night, my fault. It's the Memphis Grizzlies on their home floor, man. So short, sweet, and simple in this one. I'm taking the Grizzlies laying the nine and a half. I'm probably going to try to find me an extended line in this one as well. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Los Angeles Clippers out on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland laying five, total 222. 
It's an interesting one, man. We got the red-hot Los Angeles Clippers, man, out on the road for their fifth road game in their last six games. They're also on a back-to-back, -back, man. I do not like this spot at all for the Clippers, man. I damn near want to fade them on that alone, and I probably will, man. I, I think there's a high chance the Clippers sit their top two guys tonight on this back-to-back. -back. It's just not a great spot, man. I could, I could see Kawhi and Paul George both sitting and or one, um, but I really think they both mess around sit tonight, man, and... uh. I'm going to lean Cavs, man. Cavs are also the best home cover team in the NBA right now, man. They're actually tied with the Milwaukee Bucks. Both have covered in 66.7% of their home games. Cleveland is 16-8-1, while Milwaukee is 16-8. and We'll talk about Milwaukee here in a second. But, yeah, man, Cleveland has just played their best basketball on their home floor all season, man. The reason it's not a complete lock is because Cleveland has been up and down here recently, man. They've won some games they should have lost and lost some games they should have won, in my opinion. Um, so it's a tough spot, man. They've only won two of the last five, but they just played three games out on the road. They do return home, like, again, where they've played their best basketball. I don't like the spot for the Clippers. I'm kind of trying to see if I can get some late news, seeing if they do report these guys in or out, but I think we jump in now. I think this is a, just a perfect spot for this Cavaliers team to get right on their home floor. I think the Clippers are going to go ahead and be content with their little streak that they were on, man, and sit some guys here. Um, not a good spot for them. Fifth road game in the last six games on a back-to-back -back as well after beating Atlanta yesterday. I can see their guys sitting tonight. So I'm taking Cleveland. I'm going to lay the points with them here in this one. The best home cover team in the NBA. Could be a bounce-back spot for them. They could be getting their best player back in Donovan Mitchell tonight as well. So I think it's a spot where we just take Cleveland on this Sunday and we lay the points. In our last and final matchup of the night, man, we got the New Orleans Pelicans out on the road facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee laying 10 in this one, total 233 and a half. I mean, I get the line, man, I do. New Orleans let us down again yesterday, man. They lost on their home floor by 10 to the Washington Wizards, man. I thought yesterday was going to be a perfect bounce back and get right opportunity for that New Orleans Pelicans team, man. It just didn't happen. Uh, they've really been struggling here recently, man. Uh, this Pelicans team has, even though they're getting healthy, they're still struggling right now, man, which is crazy because just like not that long ago, they were a top two, three team in the West. Now they're only two games above 500, man. So it's a tough spot. Um, Milwaukee, on the other hand, we just talked about them a minute ago, man. Tied for the best home cover team in all of the NBA with the Cleveland Cavaliers. They're 16-8 and eight against the spread on their home floor this season. They've covered in 66.7% of their home games. It's tough, man, because it looks like the side is Milwaukee, but my gut wants me to take the Pelicans, man, and I'm going to listen to it. I think the Pelicans are just the more desperate team. I think the Pelicans can catch this Milwaukee team probably going through the motions on a Sunday, and I think the Pelicans keep this one competitive. I do think the Bucks win the game, but I could see the Pelicans keeping it competitive, possibly losing by like four or five. They're feeling that pressure, man. They got to be. Like I said, they were just like second or third in the West not that long ago. Now they're only two games above 500. This is a really talented team, man. I know they've been banged up here recently, which plays a huge part in why they've been so terrible. And they're on a back-to-back -back facing the best home cover team in the NBA. So it's an ugly spot. I get it. I'm not sure if I'm betting it, but my gut leans Pelicans. And I'm probably going to bet Pelicans here in this one, man, tonight. I think they keep this one competitive. Lang 10 is a lot to lay with Milwaukee, man. Uh, I know they laid it on Indiana in their last one. They were up huge. I think they were up like 30 in that game. But as we've seen, late in that game, they started going through the motions. And Indiana came back and made it competitive. I would not be surprised if we saw Milwaukee kind of go through the motions again here in this one. Get the win, but not the cover. So in a small lean, my gut wants me to take the Pelicans. I'm going to listen to it on this Sunday night to close out our night. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on January 29th, 2023, man. Thank y'all for watching. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new. And drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. We're going to try to bounce back after the worst night on the Jam Session that we've had all NBA season long last night, man. We got our teeth kicked in, man. Rough, rough night, man. Today's a new day, though. We're going to try to bounce back, man. Four games. Not a lot of quantity, but we got some quality. So let's bounce back tonight. Let's make some money tonight, man. I'll talk to y'all on Twitter. Talk to y'all in the comments, man. Been your guy, Jay Briggs. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.